Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Censorship a lot is alive and well in the United States. See, part of it is you always think that they do censoring in foreign countries. Well, they do. But we also do censorship here in the United States. Oh, not that advertisers have anything to do with it or the political persuasions of publications have anything to do with it. But see, part of it is, is any time, yes, world events happen, there's positive and there's negative news that happens. And it just so happens, let's just say, the negative news about the president is available in foreign, <laughs> in foreign markets, but not here in the U.S. market. Well, it is alive and well. But you know what? I know. See, part of it is world leaders, yes, with attitude, can get comments spoken about them in foreign languages. Hmm. That always don't get translated. Well, for now, we're going to bring Gold Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, if you believe what the press has been saying about it, you know that uh, this is one. This was a triumphal trip for the president of the United States overseas, and he therefore deserves his vacation in Africa, which they are now bearing the cost of. Uh, so, I mean, I, I thought it was amazing that I was watching the news this morning. See, if you're really good, you get CNN, you get the, you get CNN's a, a foreign ex thing, you get Spanish language, you get Japanese, you get Russian, you get the BBC, you get, uh, you get news from France, and guess what they're all saying about the president? What? There's nothing complimentary about any news agency is saying out of this country about the president. They're all talking about the scandals, and the problem is, is our president, the Democratic Party, and most of the press don't understand. If you got cable, you probably have all the foreign news that they're not allowing to be in our press. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> and then it really looks like we're censoring things. Yeah. And senators reach immigration deal to attract conservative support. They're not going to attract any conservative report. They said right today, well, the, the, the voters are going to forget all about this in 214. Because it would just be a past message to him. No, okay. The president this morning touted how we're going to save, we're going to cut the deficit by one trillion dollars over the next 20 years because these people will be adding money to the economy. Okay, folks, they're here. They're not going to add one more penny to the economy than they are currently adding. They are here. If they are here, it is not likely that they are going to get better jobs because they don't have the education. And, uh, and if you put them to the head of the line at all the schools, you're going to find a battle like you will not believe among the people that have been here before them. And uh, I know, oh God, I was born in this country. I'm an American Indian. I have a right to be at the head of the line. I was born in this country. I am Afro-American. I have a right to be at the head of Well, I'm sorry. But in order to make the president and the conservative Republicans look good, that voted for a, for this message. We're going to have to put the Hispanics at the top of the line so that they can get the college education that you should be having so then they can have the better paying jobs which will contribute to the economy. Of course, you're not going to be able to get the job, which means you're going to depress the economy. Uh, in that, I mean, I heard the Republicans talk about this this morning. I mean, they think it's got, it has no chance, the Senate bill has no chance whatsoever in the House, and they know it has no chance in the House. And yet, the then, but uh, a few Republican senators are going to join with the Democrats. Well, we're looking towards 70 votes. Rand Paul said they'll get 60, mm -hmm. and that's all they'll get. And Congress surprised by drone use on U.S. soil. It shouldn't be. Oh, yeah, it's against the law. And now they're, well, we're not using it to spy on people. We're using it to spy on potential terrorists. The word is potential, not, uh, they're, first of all, it's forbidden. But what else isn't forbidden under the Obama thing? Okay, here's the problem now. They went from a thousand years in jail to where if the guy is convicted, he can get up to 10 years, up wow. to 10 years for doing everything before that was really bad. They have now dropped it back to 10, hoping that the Chinese will let him come back to the United States for trial. No, nope. he's, they basically this morning, a little while ago, said that they will grant him political asylum if he chooses it to evade the corrupt, American government. What? Yeah, oh yeah, they said uh, every country in the world has our country on the S list now because of Obama and his spying on people at the meetings, folks. 
What? You know, the only way you, you can You mean the international leader meetings? Oh, God, they're all in, and happy because the only way they could get that done was Obama and his people had to bring bugs into the place. Oh, my God. And, oh, they've uh, got to be having... Uh, the, yeah. uh, why do you think that of all of the people at the event, Obama was the only one that was not wearing a jacket? They're assuming, I heard one of the people say, the people I know, they're assuming that Obama was bringing things in his pocket and putting them on, putting them on tables and stuff so people could listen in. And he didn't put on, wear his jacket? No jacket this time. Isn't that reason. considered, with, when you're in those types of meetings, oh, disrespectful? Yeah. Everyone was wearing a jacket but him. He was wearing, he had no tie. Uh, his un sleeves were undone. It's like what you do it's like when, when you want to make certain a person is not carrying something they shouldn't be carrying. Uh, so their seat is also... And that, which makes him suspicious because if he's the only one that's dressed like that, it looks like he's trying to not raise suspicion, but then he's suspicious because well, he's not... No, if this, they said the only way that these bugs could have got into private meetings was if he brought them in personally. Which means the other countries no longer, okay, they said this then morning. They then they won't trust them. They said 67% of the, of the people out of this country have no trust in this president whatsoever. So, I mean, he's in bad shape, folks. And Afghan, I still can't believe he did that. Yeah. Um, I know it's a. I'm just it's like. It's disturbing. It's just, I'm like. Okay, it's just, okay. Uh, okay, you're never going to, okay, say the head of a nation is never checked when he goes into anything. Never. I'm. Uh, and this time, a shirt, a jacketless president walking with the others with no jacket on, sitting down for communication with no jacket on. He, no, nothing private was done that I can see pictures of with him with a jacket on, which means they said, you, we're not going to talk to you, if, you know, unless you empty your pockets. So, so what he did was he took his coat off because he probably had bugs in his jacket. Oh, my God. They don't trust him. Nobody in this world trusts him. I, I, uh, I'm so I know. So I, it's just it, every, it, it, unbelievable that they would do that. But I can understand when all these other people found that the last meeting was bugged by the United States to find out what people were talking about in private. Oh, I, yeah. I can only imagine the conversations going on about this. Ooh. Oh, yeah. The conversations that you're not being able to hear have got to be beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Um, and with that, we'll go on. Immigration reform, can a smarter supporter win GOP nomination in 2016? There's not a chance in this world because the same morons that say, well, to beat Obama, they will simply have to vote for Romney, even though Romney is a liberal Republican, which makes him a moderate Democrat. They didn't vote for Romney. Well, to beat Obama, they're going to have to vote for John McCain, who's a liberal Republican and actually used to be a moderate Democrat. They didn't vote for McCain either, did they? Mm -hmm. And now they're going to have, they said, well, they're not, Hillary's not going to be able to run because of all the scandals. Well, this morning she just put first, her first initiative as president. And Afghan peace bid on hold over Kabul Taliban protocol row. Because the Taliban, they, uh, okay, they don't want to deal with, well, they're a, good, they're a good Taliban and bad Taliban. The good Taliban is the guys that beheaded, that beheads people in public. That's the good Taliban. That beheads them in public? Uh, basically, what oh. it is, Obama... What does the bad Taliban do, the, then? The, no, the bad Taliban are the people that don't support Obama. And Cory Booker talks urban policy, Senate run. Well, you know, he's going to... Okay, it, they're going to they're gonna replace a liberal Democrat with a liberal Democrat this fall. Isn't that amazing? All because Christie wouldn't appoint somebody that he knew had a chance of winning the election. Mm -hmm. And Bill O'Reilly supports Obama once again. Well, okay, here's what people may not understand it, but if you watch carefully, they are shifting to the left over on, on Fox News, no matter. They have, they have everything on the center and to the right, and all of a sudden, they're just adding one left reporter after another. I mean, I saw a guy this morning talking about, well, you know, this is my last show because I'm being moved into specials now because they've decided to replace me with some uh, people that have more liberal attitude than I did. Ooh. And another guy over on Fox Business, well, I'm taking a vacation, of course, it's not paid for, and I may not be back because I said things that they didn't approve of over at Fox, so. And Obama, and, and they're saying that on air. Yeah, well, because they know, well, they don't have contracts, and they're not going to get a new contract, so. And Obama loses German heart 
loses German hearts and minds ahead of Berlin visit. Well, it's because he okay. He goes well. I want to do. I want to take all the protection you have from the from Russia and destroy it. I want to force higher prices on you and fuel. I want you to pay carbon tax. All those things. They're they're kicking Merkel out over everything she did. So Obama goes and preaches to him. Well, the, the reason why they said, well, because it was a hot day and everyone knows that he's not, he's not as good off a teleprompter as he is on it. And because it was so hot that the teleprompter was having lax, he just couldn't get, the, he couldn't get in tune with the people because of uh, the heat and... No, Who's 40, making up those excuses? Oh, my God. The, 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 the media here, but they had 4,500 people to show up to see a president of the United States. That's a big difference from when he was running for president. Two hundred and fifty thousand. And he was yeah. the rock star. They said president. it is the worst ever thing in a major in a, in a speech to any 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 audience in Europe is that was the worst showing that anybody had. And they said that basically Obama. Uh, they said the Obama that ran in the election, the Obama that you've seen for the last year, is the Obama that they saw. Basically, he. He is no longer interested. He's disinterested in everything, and it shifts to the left and lets the left handle the problem. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm still so sorry. Animati bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, okay. Uh, being get, being late seems to be the norm instead of the exception in all business today.